Good morning, guys. So last night, I'm sure most of you've heard by now, Rick Jenneret has sadly passed away at the age of 81 due to multiple organ failure. I want to just start off by saying, you know, Rick, thank you for all the memories, man. You really, you really brought the best of me in my childhood. Um, not just myself, you know, I'm a kid that was born in Long Island, raised in Long Island, still live in Long Island, always lived in Long Island, but I'm a Buffalo fan by heart. And because of you, Rick, you inspired me to be a Sabres fan. And of course, the Goathead. But of course, so Rick has always defied the team with so many great memories. You know, La 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 Fontaine, Mayday, Mayday. These guys are good, scary good. The list goes on. The Legion of Doom, which is one of my top three favorites. Um, all the calls about the fights between Steve Shields and Garth Snow. The list goes on and on and on. And for a guy to be representing one team for five decades, that's a cent that's a quarter century. Or, yeah, that's a half a century right there. So, that right there shows that... <laughs> that shows loyalty, man. That really does. Rick Jenneret was just one of a kind at his time. And it's a phenomenon, really, when you think about it. Because Rick has always, def always defied the odds of age and he's always put up a fight no matter what he was always he was always there for the sabers through the good and the bad you know whether it was having you know difficulties with health whether it's for anything for that matter rick was always a fan favorite in buffalo for a very very long time and it's crazy to think that he outlasted every player for the history of that team even over guys like ralph well not ralph Wilson, but uh you know, he outlasted um, the French Connection, Danny Breer, Chris Drury, uh, Dominic Kotrick, he, he, Ryan Miller, Danny Breer, Chris Drury. He outlasted all those guys because most of those guys that play on the ice play, you know, 10, 15 years. And Rick Jenner has been there for 50, so or over 50, I should say. It's insane that he still kept going. And he could have easily retired, but he said, no, I'm going to keep going. And, of course, you know, as he got up there in age, it just... You know, it became more and more difficult for him to travel and stuff. So that's why he only called home games for a few years. And then, of course, Dan Dunleavy comes in, takes his spot. Which I like Dan Dunleavy. I think he's a cool guy. I never met him personally, but I think that, um, you know, he's he's good at what he does. But you can never replace him with the voice of Rich Jenneret. You just can't. It's impossible to not think of the Sabres and think of Rich Jenneret. Because he wasn't just a member of the Buffalo Sabres. He is the Buffalo Sabres. Rick Jenneret always defied every possibility and gave us some great calls, whether it was on TV or on the radio, back in the 70s and 80s, 90s, 2000s, you name it. All the decades that the Buffalo Sabres themselves have been around. And a lot of people thought that he was going to retire and enjoy himself for a couple of years or so, but nobody expected him to pass this soon. And, you know, it's heartbreaking. And a lot of people in the city are devastated. Um, there's a lot of people who really loved listening to RJ. It, it, it's, it's really sad today, honestly. And a lot of people who are not Sabres fans were actually saying, you know, I'm not a Sabres fan, but, you know, I'm very sad because Rick Jenneret was, was a hell of a guy to listen to on the radio or on TV. He always brought a smile to people's faces. He made people laugh. He did a lot of great things for that team, man. He is a original broadcaster, as I like to call him, because he was one of those people where he was recognizable. He was basically the equivalent to Chick Hearn, the late Chick Hearn for the Los Angeles Lakers, where he had a voice and he was always calling games and he had a great relationship with the players and coaches. It's it, the same thing is happening here with, with Rick Jenner Rutt. He was there for every game. He always went down, shook hands with the players and all that stuff. So Rick Jenner Rutt had a great heart. He was a great human being. He was very supportive of the, of the community in Buffalo. Um, he did a lot of donations. He did a lot of great things for that city. And, man, th th this sucks. This really does. And I wish him, you know, him and his family, their blessings, you know. I'm, I'm sending my way of peace and, you know, everything like that. You know, I'm sending everything to the best of my ability. But it's just really crushing for me in my 30s. I'm going to be 31 in three weeks. And for me to, you know, literally say, hey, you know, 
Rick Jenner ran playing a big part in my life. And he's been with me. I grew up with RJ. He's been there since I started watching hockey, which was like five or six. And then I, and then kind of just grew on me from there. So it's really tragic with what happened to Rick. But at some point in time, people figured that he was going to pass, but not this soon. So, I mean, may he rest in peace, man. It's heartbreaking. We're going to miss you, man. We're going to miss you, RJ. And your name and your legacy will live on forever forever in the rafters. Your name and legacy will live on forever outside of Keep um, Keep for, Keep Bank Center. Um, no, everything. I I wouldn't be surprised if you know there was a statue, that, you know, in his honor. I wouldn't be surprised if there was like a Rick Jetteret like street name. I wouldn't be surprised like they did for. Uh, the late Seymour H. Knox III in the 1990s, which I was a little too young to know who Seymour H. Knox III was at the time. But obviously, looking back on it, I think that's what they should do for Rick Jenner. I, I think he deserves it. So, I mean, overall, man, thank you, RJ, for the memories. God bless you. We're going to miss you, buddy. So with that, I'll talk to you guys later. And rest in peace, Rick. May God bless you.